cemetery closed at dusk and it's supposedly supposed to be haunted we're gonna take a look did you count uh, did you get to 100 steps there is a hundred steps on here a hundred step cemetery you gotta get out and look no. <laughs> why not that's cool Got some old trees out here. Oh, wow. What does this say? Died July 22nd, 1945. 77 years old, okay. An old stone there. <clears throat> Anyways, it's supposed to be a haunted cemetery. We're just outside of Terre Haute. At this old cemetery. Um, let's check. 100 Step, 100 Step Cemetery. We've got some old graves out here. 1889, 1955. John M. Bedwell. Let's see what else we got out here. <clears throat> is all the old ones in the back back there oh, okay yeah some of these stones are really old here's Sarah E May of 1898 39 years old 1880s okay that's what I was looking at. Here's one. This is cool that this is on the hill. Take a look at all these. Uh, <clears throat> this stone's been knocked over. Whoa. Yeah. We'll check out some of those. In just a minute <clears throat> look at these check out these old trees they like to put these types of trees in the cemeteries especially these old cemeteries <clears throat> yeah I'm gonna take a look at these old stones in just a minute but uh, legend has it that it's haunted out here, right? Well, that's cool. Like I said, it's just, I, I love these old cemeteries. There's even some back here in the woods, even. Wow. <clears throat> Here's one that's 1886. 1896. What's wonder what's significant about this one here. There's a lot of kids up here. But, really? A lot of dead kids. Uh, here's... Uh, 1877 to 1971. Whoa. Wow. Maxi, no way. Check that out. 1877 to 1971. Pearl, 1882 to 1956 well, I live long lives I was wondering what's significant about this one here that's the got the old rail. that has the gates around it uh butch how do you say that butish bush okay Pretty sure maybe but I don't know anyways <clears throat> this is a lot of R Okay, well, they're not, like I said, these are just in the 30s. I don't know, they must must have had some money. This gate right here is old. But look, there is John, Sarah, John, John Louise, Margaret. Margaret, another John, another John, and Winfield. Wow. What was his name? 
Marcos L. West, 4th Infantry of the Mexican War. Indian and, is that Indian and Mexican? Mexican. Oh, they have a Notre Dame on that one. Come up here by this plot over here. Check this one out. Elizabeth Lucas, born June 16th, 1827. And she died December 28th, 1899. Or no, is this no this is James. Doesn't say when she passed. James died in 1889. Cool. Check out these old plots here. Wow. 18... I don't know if that says 1822. These are unreadable. Some of them are falling down. This is the one of the headstones that you know whatever whoever this is and their plot looks like they eighteen sixty six to nineteen twenty two so yeah that that headstone fall has fallen over so I don't know exactly you know what the last names on this plot is and i can't read this one so here's another one that has fallen off I mean, look at this laura mcbride 1858 to 1953 here's an old one father george 1857 to 1888 <clears throat> John McBride, 1886 to 1896. Alpha, these are all in the 1800s, 1879 to 1899. Mary Lucas, 1884 to 1980. She lived a long life. And Manford as well. So, my son Evan, he counted. There is... A hundred steps, right? Hundred steps cemetery. I wonder how they got up this back there. I don't know. This is cool. There's no parking, there but you you have hardly anywhere to park. But a lot of old graves for sure. Very cool place. Uh, this is uh, just, uh, well, it's in Cloverland, but it's close to Sealyville, too, which is right outside of Terre Haute. All right. Well, that's going to do it. This is pretty darn cool, though. It's supposed to be haunted, so... Look like somebody took the fence out. <laughs>